Okay, and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to continue on the logo because that's one of the important things that we need to take care of. So we're going to go back to the theme options and we're going to, uh, to work on that logo a little bit. But before we do this, we're going to go over um, and do one other thing over here. We're going to go to Settings, Permalinks. And then in the permalinks, we're going to make sure it shows how the links are all displayed. Sometimes you put in a blog and then it throws in the date. So it's going to throw in today's date and then the rest of the post name. And so that uh, it's a way to record it. But basically, I think what we're going to really want to do is keep with post name. Later on, we might make a custom structure. But for right now, we just wanted to basically have the domain name and then the post name. So with that said, let's go ahead and save this, save those changes. We're probably going to have to make another video, um, or I'm going to have to make another video. You guys don't have to worry about this. That kind of goes in to some of these weird settings that are out there that we need to do before we go ahead and use the theme options. On this first logo here, we're going to take and we're going to remove that logo. And then we're going to upload a new logo. In this screen, we're going to select files. We're going to find our logo. And then we're going to go ahead and open it. Once it's open and, in, and uploaded, we're going to select it. And then we can see it barely here because it's the white. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's save the changes first because it'll whine at us if we don't, which is a good thing. And then we're going to visit that site. And we're going to see, there we go, human listings right up there. Okay. Now we need to do the, you need to make this one twice as big and set it here. And then for the mobile one, and then for the retina mobile one. Um, I don't believe we have anything to worry about after that. And we're going to stick with these Favcons. So we're fine there. Let's just save this just in case I forgot anything. And I'm going to let you do the rest. So you have to make a two times the size logo here. This logo, I would assume that this is the same small little logo that we just installed. Um, so we're just going to take that and select it there. And then the two big logos, we're going to have to do that at twice the size. So just make this twice as big as that one. And with that said, we're going to save the changes. And we're going to call this video a go. So stay tuned to the next video.